Hi, it's Bart from RecPro.com. This movie is one of our videos about deploying uh, for trial purposes IBM Engineering Lifecycle Management. This part is about adding users and creating projects. I hope you will enjoy it. When you have your platform up and running, you can start creating projects and adding users. And we will start exactly with adding some users to our uh, platform. So I will show you how to how to do it. So after you will log in as a JS uh, administrator, so the user which you have of course created during the setup, you should go to the JS team server. So to do that, you should go to you should add slash JTS after domain you have configured. This is opening exactly this screen when you are a JS administrator. And then you should click users. And here is a section called active users. And right now you will see all the users available on your uh, platform. Uh, you see that currently I have nine users, but all those users like CCM user, DCC user, all those users are system users and you shouldn't archive them. Um, you shouldn't change their names and so on because otherwise, otherwise, uh, otherwise your application can just go down. So you should keep those users. You have also possibility here to create new users if you want. So you can just click create new user and you can just give this user a name. So we can just write user one we can just give this user identifier of user user one just use his email so it will be user one on gmail we can just give this user platform permissions so we'll just give this person just user and we will just give this person uh, our trial license. So well, I will just give this person IBM engineering lifecycle management based practitioner. So we have just created our first user. Of course, if I will go back here, display active users, you see that I have user user one. So what is the user one password? It is exactly the same as uh, user ID. So right now it is user one, user one. Of course, user can change this password. So let's quickly log out and let's check if it is working. So I will just, I can type user one, user one. And of course I can log in, but I have message that I am not authorized to this page. And why? I will just remove this part from the URL and I will go to the JTS. You see that the screen is, screen is completely different. And this is because our user one is just a normal just user without admin permissions. So it cannot do all the operations which we have done using the admin account. So I will just go back to our admin account. And we can start creating projects. So I will quickly go back to the admin page. Just admin and um, if I want I can add more users. What I can do else? I can create some projects and first thing I can go to the administration, I can go to uh, manage lifecycle projects and if I will go to the manage lifecycle projects I can create empty project or I can just create sample project. So uh, for the purpose of this demonstration, let's create two projects. The first one will be just a, uh, just a sample. So I'll just click on the sample. And I will select here doors next, next workflow management and also test management. Um, and I will customize the name of this project because the default name is JKE Banking. I will just call it sample project. The sample project will contain some um, demonstration data, uh, there will be traceability between requirements and tasks. So I can just click create 
and I can accept this and of course such a project will be created for um, for for me creation of this of this project um, includes projects for the requirements management change management and quality management uh, but also what is quite important it also creates some users in the in the in the system so after you will um, after you will create this project just don't be surprised that you will see users like uh, Deborah, uh, Bob, or uh, any other names in the members members section. Uh, what is quite important if you are exposing if you are exposing your server publicly, I strongly recommend I are hiding those users uh, or, for example, uh, changing the passwords of those users because otherwise, you know, every person. Uh, will be able to use those credentials and, and access access your um, your server. So just be aware that this project is also creating some some users in the um, in the system uh, with the default with the default password. So for example, if there is user Bob, uh, the password the password for the for the user Bob will be Bob as um, as uh, as well. So so you, if if your server is public, just remember to archive those users or change um, change uh, change change password for those uh, for those for those users. Uh, I strongly encourage you to to play with this project, um, this sample project to um, to just learn learn the product. Of course, in our next movies which we will publish on the youtube channel uh, soon or they are already published uh, you will be able to see how to use ibm engineering product uh, especially doors next uh, global configuration reporting test management um, and in some examples we will use this jke banking uh, project sample uh, because you will be able as well to follow the steps which we are which we are doing in the in the in the system and you will be able to create exactly the same project on on your machine that is why for example right now i'm just showing you how to how to create this uh, this sample this sample project the second project which we'll create in a second um, will be the project without any data so uh, so 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 you will you will be you will have two two working areas the the one with the data uh, provided by IBM some samples and the second area without any 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 data uh, where you can as well uh, practice a little bit but from scratch starting from nothing after the sample project was successfully created we need to go to the members section we have to select our project and what we can do we can just add other users so we see that our user administrator was automatically added to this project because this is the creator of this project and also this uh, person was added in the default roles if we want to give this person more permissions we can just click on the uh, roles window we can just apply other roles too to give this person all the available permissions and we have to do it for every product involved in our project so i'm just doing this for change management quality management and also requirement management of course those roles and permissions assigned to those roles can be uh, modified uh, but maybe not during uh, you know configuration of the trial environment of course you can learn how to do it and we will show you how to do it in the other in our in our other our movies uh, of course what I want to do as well I want to add user one which I have created so I'm just looking for this user you see there is user one I can save the user will be added to our project we see that user one was added so I'll just click on it and we see that currently it doesn't have any roles in the product so I'll just add this user 
all the available all the available rows. And I'll go to the top. You see, I don't even have to save. And right now we have one available project for requirements management, test management, and also for the workflow, workflow management. The last thing what I will do, I'll show you how to create empty project. So if you want to create empty project, you can just go here to the uh, to the right upper corner where you have action menu when you will click on the action menu you can just click create lifecycle project uh, you can just give this project a name so maybe i won't call it sample project i will just call it empty project i can select a template template is defining what applications will be used in our project so you see it is quality professional analyst developer it means that i will use three applications test management uh, doors next and also workflow management uh, you see later that i have three containers the first container is for requirements management uh, if i want i can here modify the project name uh, if it is not exactly the same as I proposed here, or I can just uh, remove this uh, and this additional requirements in the bracket. If I don't like it, I can just remove it for this uh, this container. And later here on the right, I can select one of the uh, available process templates. Uh, of course, doors next and uh, quality manager and also workflow management are delivered um, together with some some. Uh, uh, templates which you can use but also you can create your own and customize existing ones so i will select for example traditional requirements template mm, for uh, workflow management i will use for example formal formal project management and for the quality manager um, or test management we will just use quality management default default process so i'll just click save and right now this project is being created so it is created in doors next workflow management and also test management products and those those projects in three different products are, are automatically connected so you can later create traceability links between requirements tests and tasks this is exactly the page after creating a project. What is quite important, you should click show project members. You see that only administrator is uh, as an author is part of this project. Mm, I can, of course, add other users if I want. So I will just write user one. And let's let's find it user yeah i'm not maybe this user my mistake user user one and then close i can click save and right now what i will do i can just add permissions to those users add roles in the in this project so of course i will just alt add all the roles because it will be just easier for me in the future to show you examples and show you how exactly to work with the with the tool for the administrator i can do exactly exactly the same to give those users all the all the all the roles in the in the product when you are done on the platform, you have two projects and you are able to fully evaluate the platform. Of course, if you will log out and log in as a user one, because this user was added to our projects as well, you should have access to the projects as well. Right now, what I did I logged out and logged in as a user one 
with limited permissions, but this user doesn't have access to the page to create projects. So if I will remove this part from the URL and I will click here menu, you see that I have again the access and I can access the, the projects. Thank you for watching this video. If you are more interested in our services, trainings or offerings, please visit our website regpro.com. Thank you.